How can I be caught when God said me to mash up the missing thing there? Hmm? The Jamaica Constabulary Force needs deliverance before it is too late. The government officials in Jamaica and even the oppositions in Jamaica only need deliverance before it is too late. Right now you know we are stopping. Welcome one again unstoppable family well people the cold pasta series continues who don't think it did done well <laughs> no it not done who don't know why now watching a favorite movie on this star and the movie dead i don't think say all right the movie done and then when you look them just come with a spin-off well like that i go on in another episode yeah zane no most of you may have been familiar with the name pasta well not pasta watson prophet watson most of you may have been familiar with that name by now because the name has spread all over so Social media by some people as the new cult pastor. Well, him come out and him deny that and say him now nah, nothing to do with cultism. Him never even know Kevin Smith and all of that. Him don't clear up. But then the other day, you see where him get lift up. Well, so him say him get lift up by one of the pastor and put outside of the church and on one bag of antics. Well, him still a come out and him still a talk and him still a do him thing. In which me personally still feel like him love the spotlight. We just go and give him same way. But yeah, him forward again. And yeah, just recently, him even got at, um, what am I the name? Pastor Stewart. Yeah, him got at him wicked. But we, we never bring that one day. But right now, him forward again and him talk up a lot of things. You understand what I say? Another video where I'm going to make you watch right now, the man address a whole lot of things. See, the man even mentioned, say, all away. I mean say we, yeah, meaning the whole we. We uh, talk about him if him ever decide to say yo, tell God say, Father God, me now nah do this no more. God I go come for we. Yeah, that's how I'm saying. In another video right there, so so no better stop chastise the man here and make the man continue upon the mission where God put him on. Anyway, yeah, we'll make we go take a listen farm. to what I'm talking about in another video, yeah. Platform, see? No TV platform, um, <clears throat> no radio platform, no bloggers platform. You will not get me on that unless the Lord said otherwise, but the Lord have not said so, so I will not partake in that. Amen. So I'm very humble. Amen. I'm very humble. I, I'm not for the fame and the, and the uh, popularity. Many of you think that uh, me just come. I've been out here for a very long time. Amen. I have been out here for a very long time. I've been out here for over 10 years. Amen. So you as an individual may not heard about me. It might be a first time about me, but not because it's a first time about me. It means that we just have come a long time there. Amen. I have been preaching and prophesying for many, 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 many years. I've been preaching and prophesying for over 10 years. Amen. So a long time there. There was a viral video. There was a viral audio. An audio that went viral. Uh, where that person was on a Zoom platform and uh, he was speaking about the, the man that passed, Kevin Smith. Um, I am actually that person that was speaking in that, in that record. Yeah, I am that person that was speaking in that record. Um, so, Therefore, the transportation of Kevin Smith's body, and I call it body because there was another entity that was utilizing that vessel, Amen. Um, was on their way to Kingston. Amen. Now, for the main fact that they did not take the toll, it means that they were on their way to Flatbridge. Might have not reached Flatbridge as yet, but they were on their way to Flatbridge. And then, um, whatever happened, um, there was a collision. And um, I don't read the news. I don't really read the news. I don't read the news. Um, he crashed and he died and also i believe another police officer um died with him as well i want to say condolence to that police officer family 
and men uh, as, as well. Um, so, based on what the Lord said to me, you see Flatbridge, I'm going to believe in it in a while, but I'm not based on it. I'm talk as the Lord said to talk. You see Flatbridge, Flatbridge is tormented. Amen? I mean, I tell you what I hear from people. I tell you what I hear from God myself and what I experienced myself on more than one occasion at Flatbridge. Flatbridge is tormented. There's a lot of spirits at Flatbridge and there's a lot of individuals that visit the Flatbridge yeah, area, amen, praise be to God, and do rituals at the Flatbridge when no one is seeing them. Let that soak. Let me drink a little water. Flatbridge is tormented spiritually, and there is a lot of individuals that visit the Flatbridge area to do their rituals when no one else is seeing. So there is no way whatever um, demonic entity that was within the vessel of Kevin. Amen. What y'all should thank God for is that it never happened at Flatbridge. Because if it had happened at Flatbridge, every officer that was transporting him would have died. Hmm? If it had ever happened at Flatbridge, we must give God thanks, you know. Because if it had ever happened at Flatbridge, every officer that was transporting this thing, I call it, this thing would have died because both of those vehicles would have overturned in Flatbridge. Amen. So that is one thing to give God thanks for. Amen. Um, now, this thing is structured in a physical. Some people never let me know. But God never talked because you send me, come here, and you send me as a messenger. And I've been a messenger. For you. This thing is spiritual and also it is a physical setup merged together. Because if that thing have gone to the courthouse, a lot of people would have been exposed. Do you understand? If it had ever gotten the chance to enter before a judge, a lot of people, a lot of other pastors and bishops, apostles and this and that, even people in a government would have been exposed. Join his time in lockup. The spirit that was operating in his body have so much influence that it even had influence on the police officers themselves where they could not place an handcuff upon him. Mm. The spirit that was operating in that vessel, amen, it is so manipulative and his words are so sweet and smooth that if you don't, if you're not strong in God, it would have even sweep you off your feet. Because the Bible says even the very elect 
shall fall to the temptation of the devil. Even the very elect While the man, while that thing was behind the bars, all these pastors who sit under the what um, some umbrella, whatever umbrella group or whatever they call themselves, should if you had had the Holy Ghost, you'd have wrote to the minister of security. Whatever his name is, me don't know his name, because me don't run in that, me don't do that politics. Whoever he is, you would have wrote to him in a letter, because this is a spiritual thing, asking him for the permission to go where the man is, whichever jealous in there, to get the permission to go there and take that spirit and subdue it. Before it loose. Hello. What the ministers who claim to say them have the Holy Ghost. What they should have done while that man was behind bars. Was to write, was to, write to the minister of security. Asking for the permission to go behind the bars and subdue that spirit that is within him before that spirit get loose. Prophet, are we at about? What kind of foolish that about? We don't have this. Have you read the story about the legions? The moment they saw Jesus Christ, they got fearful. Hmm? That they run to Jesus Christ, them seen first, and say, Why have you come to torment us before our time, those son of the living God? They were trying to expose Jesus because why? The legion was trying to expose Jesus because Jesus now come into their territories. When you enter in demon's territory, when you enter in a devil territory, and you are man of God, in which try every and everything, amen, to take you out. Because why? You enter in a territory. Share the life. So when Jesus Christ entered into the territories of the demons, the man where nobody could have bound, nobody could have bound, bound him, then chain him up in bus after that because why? A spirit in my carry. And when you carry a spirit, you're strong. Your physical body is not your own anymore. And they run to Jesus and say, Why have you come to torment before we time? No son of the living God. And Jesus Christ says, Who are you? They say they identify themselves. In order for you to cast out any demons out of anybody, you have to identify who the demons is. And who more to them did it? You can't just go up and back a field just so. So when the pastor is talking about the sense, you know nothing more spiritual warfare. Before Jesus Christ cast out the demons, he have to first know who much of them did it. Because you can say you cast out one with a two did it. So you cast out one and left by the other one, and then the other one reinforces itself and come back stronger with many other more. We don't know what's which I have here. Eh? So Jesus Christ said, Who are you? Tell me your name. Because your name represents who you are. According to the word of God. Your name represents who you are. And they said, We I am legions. Because we are many. So Jesus Christ said, Alright. We know who we are dealing with now. We are dealing with a whole host of hell. Hmm? And they said to Jesus Christ, cast us into those swines over there. And Jesus Christ said, go. And when they go, the swines realize that them bodies not them whole no more. And they run off of that cliff and kill themselves. 
Hello? No, not because a somebody body is dead means that the spirit dead. A demons we are talking we are talking about here. We are talking about demonic entities here. So when I stepped on the Kevin Smith property, the moment I stepped on it, I saw letters and numbers and parables. I saw. Mm. And I said, God, what on there? I don't see what I deal with your sinner. I don't watch people like you know. I don't watch any uh, if you can count pan just them look a finger you have much people like my watch. Hello? So we say, Wala, let me let me me never hear about this man. God, hold on. When I went down there and I saw what I saw in the spiritual realm. Yeah? I see our one room and I see in spirit. I saw his spirit in a handcuff like this. A spiritual thing. And I see in spirit lack of so, bound of so. I saw Kevin Smith's spirit bound of so. And when I see it, I look so. And I saw a window and I asked the person that was there, What is this room here? I saw one spirit inside here. I saw the man's spirit in there. What is that room there? And they walled him in and said, That is his private room. That's his private room. I said, my God. Me sitting there. And I was on the outside. Me never go inside of the building at all. At that time. Hello. And I went home. I said, God, you need to show me where I come to you. Why is this man, all oh, this man reach here so? With this sacrifice thing concerned and this cult thing concerned. God, how oh, it reach here so? I mean, say, no, I have to do something to research, man. Oh, 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 this all come up. Oh, this all come up with him, with him, with his spirit. Mm. And the Lord allowed me to go on his page, and I look on his page, and I, the Lord led me to a video. And I click on the video, and it redirects me to his YouTube page. And one video draw my attention. When he was singing this song, I'm desperately waiting on you, Lord. And the Lord said to me, at this point in time, he was already gone, but he was crying out for help, but nobody could have understood. Nobody could have understood. But it was just too late. And when I checked the years, it was three years ago that this this part this this kind kind of video was uploaded. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And I said, God, me see this number upon in page nine nine nine. What is this? The Lord said that is a seal. That is an entity seal that he's working with. So therefore, the seal that he Marku Sehendo, the seal that he's working with, he ordered every one of his members to use the seal number. So anything you have a right, make sure so you put 999 on it. It is a seal. So therefore, the entity know you and it identify you because why? You are carrying the code. Mm. So that night of that sacrificial thing, come on, show the life. I'm edifying you here. Every person that was there was supposed to die, including himself. In the already people if he died that night. That's the next thing too. In the already prepare himself to dead that night. So everybody that was there was supposed to die. And guess what? He had 12 disciples. Meaning not 12 disciples, but 12 tribes. 
he had ordained 12 tribes and those 12 tribes was to carry out the sacrificial order. And this 12 tribe that was supposed to carry out the sacrificial order, their minds have already been manipulated. Their minds have already been controlled by the entities that is within him and around him. So therefore, they will lift them hands and know how them and lift them hand. Only spiritual people can understand me I talk about here. So there was 12 tribes that was supposed to help him carry out this sacrificial order. Mm. Twelve. So therefore that night he himself had prepared to die that very night. Not by, not by the police but during the sacrificial thing. So what would have happened now, he'd have took in, amen, he'd have took in maybe 5 by 5 person, or 20 by 20 person, took them in, amen, and the 12 tribe that is there would have carried out that sacrificial thing. Because the mind control, you know, me are teaching you something here. It's a spiritual thing me are talking about, and not them, and the spirit me are talking about. And not them as an individual me are talking about, the spirit So when that so so when that five person come in and slaughter or sacrifice, they would have put them away. Amen. Hide them body somewhere, put them away. And then carry that carrying some more. Amen. And then carrying some more and then sacrifice them one day. Put to them body. Then carrying some more. Sacrifice them one day. Put to them body. And then when they don't know. And him would have shot himself. Hmm? Some other parts of the talk, no, no, not more spiritual or spiritual thing. For you to fight demons, you have to know the strategy of demonic entities. So you know, say, watch it, you know, you have come up again. So you prepare yourself to fight. And you can't go fight back if God never sent you a fight back. So whoever you see God sent to fight back, pray them up. Don't you don't fight them too. Whoever you see God sent to fight spiritual battles, pray them up. Call prayers and fasting in, in, a, in, in, in a, your own church and pray up that individual. Say, God, give him strength. Give him strength, God. Give him strength. Give him strength, God our heart. Give her strength. Don't try to fight them as well because you're going to make them back to order and guess what when the demons loose all over Jamaica you are going to follow prayer as well hmm? you are going to follow prayer as well the Jamaica constabulary force needs deliverance the government of Jamaica needs deliverance I mean, I said nothing more concerning that. Who never see me at all, bro? Because I've seen the world, the world world not like me. God didn't send me a cult. How can I be cult and me I try to mash up, mash up the same thing? How can I be cult? Hmm? How can I be cult when God sent me to mash up the same thing? There? Hmm? The Jamaica Constabulary Force needs deliverance before it is too late the government officials in jamaica and even the oppositions in jamaica only need deliverance before it is too late a spiritual warfare we are talking about you say no spirit of a jump in a man and in the start do 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 Hello? Spirit, I got jump in a man and just come up in a police station and start bust be a shot, you know? You never see one fast profit.
Who don't have a see a whole fire. Well, everybody I laugh now. I share that video. In last year, I believe. It's on my YouTube page. Go find it. When I was sharing a vision. Go on my YouTube page. Type in Prophet Dr. Watson on YouTube. And you'll see it. I was sharing a vision. Early in the morning. I don't share vision. You, you don't see me share vision on my page. Like that. And the last said, go and warn the nations. Warn them because you don't think they are corona this sorrow. You don't think they are corona this sorrow. You don't think they are corona this sorrow. Corona is just a preparation for what is to come. More sorrow coming. Corona is just a preparation for the, the problem to come. Hmm? And in the vision, the Lord show me, say, me see the people, they laugh over me. <laughs> some are some smoke and I gamble, and they laugh. Me <laughs> sure it's not the vision, it is in the vision. Hmm? The weathers in Jamaica, the weather in Jamaica will become unpredictable. And not only in Jamaica, but the rest of the world, it will become unpredictable. And usual weathers is going to take place, it's going to become unpredictable. I mean, I'm talking about because I can help you. And repentance alone can help you. Repentance alone, not no hack. No, I believe how can he go on? And no more now come. I repentance agreed from the heart. But this foolishness with the but the heart can come, the heart can come, the heart can come. No, I believe how can he mash up and go on the floor? He gone. And then I come back again. A knee city and repentance agreed. No. And God warned Jamaica and the rest of the world. God said, come back to him before it's too late. Lord Jesus Christ, people are going to laugh now. I will be sitting right here in this chair. And drinking my glass of water. And soon I'm coming back, coming back around. I said, boy, I remember that prophet used to talk this. I remember. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. God never destroyed a city without a warning. Kevin Smith got the warning before. I'm very quite sure that he got the warning before. I'm very sure that he got the warning before. But he never take heed. And now the souls are there. Scattered all over the world. People that even never go to him church. Is, is, is affected by it. And God has sent his prophet. God has sent his servant. Amen. To minister to these people. To let them know that the man fail you. But God no fail you. And now come and attack me. God I'm going to hold him accountable. Anyhow me say God me done. Me not deliver the word. God I'm going to hold him accountable. Countable. Anyhow, me say God just like Elisha. Any just say just like Elijah. Anyhow, me say God, listen, me done, me done, me done. Use somebody else, and God can't find nobody else. God could have find somebody else, he would have used them. If you could have found somebody else, I would have used them and he just decided to use me. And I put away fear. I put away, you don't think I'm afraid to? You don't think I'm afraid to? If you could have done this, if you send me the next cut leader, you don't think I'm afraid to? I put away fear. I put away doubt. I put away myself. And me say, God, use me then. Here I am, use me. When I talk about the money, me come from. I don't come from the money. Me have, me have a radio. Me have a radio program. Me have a TV show. You know? Me have a registered business. When me personally park, me say, you know what, God, me have put this one side in. Me want to do your work. I 
I have my radio talk show, I have my TV talk show, I have my business. My registered business. And me say, God, me go do your work. God say, listen, put that aside. Put them there aside. I'm sending you out. And what me have to do? Me have to put them aside. Me have to put them aside and say, God, here I am. Use me. My radio show can more than bring in money to me. My TV show can more than bring in money to me. Not to mention my business. The type of business that, that I have, it can bring in millions to me. Hello. And God said, put that aside. I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to say, God, I'm going to do your work every morning at 5 o'clock. I go on the street to preach the word of God. I go in Maypen to preach the word of God. I go in downtown to preach the word of God. People slaughter me downtown. People, amen, people, I come to keep service and people are plug out, plug out my box. Amen. I say, God, God, the people them sow them offering at any time. People sow them offering and them seed in the church. Amen. I put it aside and I went and I bought a brand new generator. Nobody not talk about that. I went and I bought a brand new generator. Come and say, God, me I go up on the road, go preach a word, and people are take liberty on me. Them don't want to give me no light. So God here what? You deceive them, call it me. I go use it, God, and buy a brand new generator where we can go out there and preach a word. Without hesitation. Don't put gas tonight, start it up and preach a word. Nobody not talk about that. Nobody not recognize that. Hmm? When people come up, come come to me on the roadside, people come to me. Me and I to run them back with them half in. Me and I say go back with the half in. Me not ready for the half in. I'm gonna have a minute, minute, minute one half in. I see that God seed, God send me, send me down here to do. Amen. Seed and soul. Amen. I say watch me. Me not want, me not want half in. Me run. People are coming out thousand. Let me say go on with that. People are coming out two thousand. Let me say go on with that. No much half in me reject. No much money me reject. Eh? Me buy a brand new shoes and take out my shoes and give boy by roadside. Madman for wear. Hmm? Me take out brand new shoes and me just buy just buy that day and take it out the same day and give to boy homeless boy a road. Hmm? When me I fly out, amen, pray to the God. When, when, me, I, when me I fly out, me, me give away everything in my house. Me give away bed, me give, me, 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 me give away furniture. Everything me give away. Me give away. Everything me give away to people when I want. To people where I nah have it. Me give it when nobody not talk about that. But anyhow, mark my word. All of the way I pressure the servant of God. I talk about cult. I talk about this. Anyhow, me as a human being. Any of me as a human being say, God, me done. Me not do no more message. Me I just preach, just send somebody else. God, I go hold you accountable. Who no pastors and me never talk about the unsaved. Can I expect anything from unsaved? Me I talk about your pastors and Christians. God, I go hold you accountable. And guess what? We never say a people are over there. Yeah? We never say a people are over there. We never say a God are chastised himself. God send him servant. Pray up the servant, the man, a young boy, 29 years old. We could have out there a, a bus gun. We could have out there a smoke weed, a girl out the place. Pray me up, man. Pray me up. Pray me up. Text the phone. Every pastor me know, I know one of them. Me, but me prepare for who know. Me prepare for who know. Every pastor I know, every single pastor when me know, when me go at them church, go preach, every single pastor me know personally, not one of them. Not one of them. Text and say, man of God, hold the feet. Not one of them even comment and say, no, he's not like this. I know him. I rebuke that spirit out of He's not like this. Not one one of them but guess what when the truth re reveal and when the truth reveal me I expect them to come back to me again I'm never blood up with Jesus Christ never rebuke them with the name of Jesus Christ because we're not Jezebel 
I mean, I put more than that, you can't hit me, you can't hit me no more. Me no care. God sent a prophet to go and deliver his people. Pray me up as a young man, me young, me a young boy, me young, me green. Amen. Praise be to Almighty God. I'm going to go out there, do all kind of sing thing, but me decide to do the work of the living God. I don't know tear me down. Me never talk about the unseen, because I expect anything from unseen. Huh? But some of the unsaved, they must stand up with me, with, with me more than some of the Christians. Hmm? Many unsaved gunman, thief, robber, prostitute, as, a, 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 them are encourage me. And them are encourage me, I say, brother, holy feet, man, do what God said to do, man. And them are encourage me. Prostitute, robbers, thief, gunman, this, that. And them are encourage me as a brother. Holy faith, man. I don't know you, you know. And the first me I see, and the first me I see you like them. But here you are. Holy faith, man. Do what God says for you. Don't give up. But some of the Christians are talking about cross. I want to see man crucify Jesus Christ. I think that's sin I crucify him. I want to see man crucify Jesus Christ. So if you can't crucify Jesus Christ, who is me? Hmm? Hmm? When you hate me because God has used me to expose you, and I'm not going to stop exposing me, I'm exposing the nastiness. When you are nasty to the kingdom of the Almighty God, when you get exposed, and that's what I like. When you can see me, I come and lock on the church door. If you lock the church door, I turn up on the government road and plead the blood of Jesus Christ again to know. So you look out. Look out. Look out. When you can see me, when you can see me, I come and lock the church door. All you want. But me have to stand up on the government road and prophesy against you that you need to repent and stop fooling God people. Then. Hello? You can lock the door all you want. Look out for me one year. Me I come. God has said me come. If your heart clean and you know, say you have a heart of a friend, don't you have to worry yourself. Hmm? Pastor, why you don't go to the whole house? And they God send me yet. Pastor, why you don't go to the gambling house? And they God send me yet. And send me to the church to set the church right. A time for the church set right because why? The church can't right and we are bringing soul into the soul. They all get corrupted and come back out and they want come back in. Hello? All in the good for lock up, lock up in a building and sit up on a big chair with big crown over on the head. Talk about una excellency, una this, una that, una that. Una chief apostle, una arch, we call it arch bishop. Eh? Una chief apostle. Eh? There are too much theology preachers and no Holy Ghost preachers. Hmm? There are too much theology preachers now. Preachers are right down. They know you can't, you can't say you preach to me. And you are right down no to if you preach man. You must be mad. You can't, you can't preach to me. You can't preach to me. Everything you preach away, how are you right down? Are we, are we right? No, no, no. Everything you preach, are we just study overnight and you write it down. You write it down, you write it down, you write it down, you write it down. You can't talk to me. Me want to hear a God and say, oh, tell your heart. The Bible says, open them out and I will fill it with words. Where you come with paper about? A laptop and tablet. I go and burn out some of the pastors. Hit me the one. Lock your church door. Look at me one here. Look in there. Me I come. Who tell us that Kevin never get rebuked before? Why God allow him to dead because he get the rebuke already? So me have to do it again. Him get the rebuke already. He got the rebuke already. Too much theology preachers in the church. And because them are theology preachers, then they not believe in a cup on the road on the street side and preach. Then lock up in a church, lock up in the building. Hmm? 
Them lock up in the building, big AC, I feel part of the church, I want the church I keep because why? The church lock up, you know, you're not singing out a door unless you do what? The church, when me used to. A people that clap church, the open people that clap on the hey, hey, and a worship God, man, a worship that people are jump and going out, dot up them white and roll upon the ground. People in the altar seek the Holy Ghost and fraught are come out of them mouth and prayer warrior, they beside them, I push them, say, yeah, man, go on, man, go for the Holy Ghost, get it. You don't see that again in a church. You don't see that again. A long time in the hear the name Tarin. A long time in the hear that word Tarin for the Holy Ghost. When last one you hear that? A years me no hear that word there. Years me no hear that word there. Tarry for the Holy Ghost. Tarry night. When last you about tarry night? Eh? When last you hear about tarry night? Where young people are coming to church and are seek the Holy Ghost and mothers, I mean senior mothers in the church dressing them white and turn up beside of them and I push them. Say, so get the Holy Ghost, man. Go on feet. Yes, sister. Come on, man. Don't get tired. Go for the Holy Ghost. Oh, God have mercy. I feel the anointing. You don't see those things again in the church. Everything is about prosperity, blessing, so thousand dollar, so ten thousand dollar, five hundred dollar line, fifty dollar line, hundred dollar line, thousand dollar line, ten thousand dollar line, and the silver line. God rebuke you in Jesus' name. Look at me again, Mr. Me, I come for you. Hello. Lock, you can watch me. You better lock the church door. And if you're lucky, me, I turn about and rebuke you. Nobody not trust the church again. You care around them because of them nasty pastor you out there. We are we, we are used God's name and God not know them. Everybody are fight against who who I said them a Pentecostal, who said them a Catholic, who said them a Jehovah Witness, who said them a Pastolic, who said them a revival, I fight against each other. When they should be preaching holiness. When they should be preaching holiness. Everybody want big church. Nobody want up on the street so they can go preach. Eh? Me used to walk around with musicians. The first time I go up on the road to preach. Many years ago. A musician me walk with. And when I realized, I said, say, no man, I can't preach good man. I can't flow. Because every time I turn on and look at the musician, they might they do them answer. I said, God, no, man, I feel like a money me a preacher, man. I said, mm-mm. I said, God, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I said, God, no, man, I feel like a scam, me a scam the people, man. I said, no, every time I preach, every time I preach and I prophesy, I turn and look for the mission, them. And if, if, if I high glimpse them, I, 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 I saw them go, money. I have to call it money if you pay the mission, them. I said, God, mm-mm, me don't want a part of this. Mm-mm. Me no want no part of this. Me no want no part of this. God bless me with me one box and a mic and me good. Me go up on the road, play me YouTube and they pay me box and me preach and win soul. And if no offering collect and no tithes collect and no seed collect, you use back in the church. Hmm? Anyhow you see me a road with a drum set and a keyboard and musician on the road unless me I pay them out of my own pocket. So me make sure say me reserve that money there. So when me I preach, me can preach comfortable. Me not preach for the money. All of the fake pastors out there and fake Christians we are play puppy show. Me I come for uno. God sent me for uno. See not that one in there. So therefore, you can lock the door at the temple all you want. I am going to stand on the government road and prophesy against you. Time for you repent. It's cleaning time. Hmm? It is cleaning time. When I use the church, when I use the building as a, as a gambling house. Just like how Jesus Christ went into the, to the temple and turned over the table. Who tell me say I can't do it? God, God give me permission to turn over every nasty table away when they build in. And all I want to free for talk. 
Allah who know, is, is intimidated because we don't have the Holy Ghost. But do not bash me. Anybody in here bash me because they're guilty. And me are confident. Hmm? God send me for you. Me no care if you are revival, me no care if you are Pentecostal, me no care if you are Catholic, me no care if you are Jehovah Witness, me no care who you are. Once you not live right and you ask scam God people, let me come for you. Mm. Once you are play with God people, then you are play with the heart of God people. People of God who must stop look on pastors as a perfect person. Any pastors in the sea will go on like them holy and righteous and be careful of them. Stop looking pastors as a perfect person. We not perfect. Me, me use me. Me not perfect. Me not perfect. So many of these pastors are making a look on them as a perfect person and I put them on a pedoscope. So therefore, when them fall now, everybody fall. You're mad. If me fall, my, the, the member them have to turn up the same way. Everybody have to turn up to them own salvation. Things that make you, make you fall and the member them have to talk about them have fall too. Eh? You think that me can say me sin and my member them sin too? No. You think that me can fall and the member them say they might fall too? Eh, eh. After me no God. After me no God. If me fall and my member them are supposed to turn up. And, uh, uh, and the whole I to own this ministry is structured by God. Even if I am doing something wrong, I tell my member, don't be afraid to come to me. Pull me one side and say, Prophet, you know say, Prophet. Such and such and such and such and such. And guess what? Me sit on. And me listen to them talk to me. And me say, yes man. Yes man. Yes man. Okay. Alright. That is leadership. You cannot want to give correction and don't want to take correction as a leader. I rebuke. Watch, I wish I had some light here. So. I rebuke you and set you on fire in Jesus name. You can't be a leader and want to give correction and don't want to take correction. It no go so in a God kingdom. It no go so in a God kingdom and no so it go. Just like how you can give correction, you must be able to humble enough to take correction too. Just like how you as a pastor who love rebuke other people when they get pregnant, when you love rebuke people and dash them once every day when they commit a sin, when you must be able to humble enough to take rebuke too. When you hear me, I can't chat the truth. The blood of Jesus Christ against you know, set the on fire. You think that God ministry, God can you know, have something to joke with? Huh? Eh? You think say God kingdom has something to joke with? The Lord say him chastise those that he love. If God has beat your tech beating him, because why? I change him why you change him. Love you the more you change. Hello. So it's time for you to clean up the church, clean up yourself as a leader. Clean up yourself as a leader. Clean up yourself. Clean up yourself when the pastors are wear big old color when they can choke on yourself. Clean up yourself before you put it on. Clean yourself. Those that know me, even though I'm not hypocrite, the moment I come to your church to visit or to preach, and they invite me, come and make sure I'm sitting at the back, you know. Now I come here, I got the back. I come to your church at the first place I came from. At the back. And sometimes when you come to the company, you ask me to come. Unless you force me to come, and then I say, I yeah, remember come then. But before I enter on your rostrum to step on this step, I stop and me pray. You know my prayer say? You want to know my prayer? When you see me stop at your altar and you see me turn up so before I step on the rostrum, I pray a prayer of forgiveness. Mm. 
every church me go, and if they invite me and me, I have me go for a preach, and them invite me to the restroom before me step on the first step, me stand up on the altar, so, and me bow my head and me pray. You want to know my prayer? God, forgive me of all my sins. The ones that I'm aware of, the ones I'm not aware of. As I step on your podium, God, forgive me. If there's any spirit inside of me, remove it in the name of Jesus Christ and do a kingdom impartation in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a step on the rest of Hello? I saw it for go normally in a church and somebody come in a church, the first place them head for the rats at the, the altar and them kneel on and them pray and then when them don't pray, they get up and wave to the church and God them seed. Church now do altar call again, church now do consecration pray again. Years ago when, before church start, everybody ever come by the altar come come pray. You know, I see them things there again. Bring back the old time religion. We don't want a new religion in the church. We want the old time one. Look at me again. Yes, me, one year boy. Look at me, Cyclops, call me Matrix. I'm coming for you. Lock the church door. If you not live right, lock the door. And if you're lucky, me and turn up on the government road and rebuke you if you're not right. Set God house in order. Set God house in order. Set God house in order. The reason why the Prime Minister no one hear from no for we because why the church and what kind of foolishness. You can't be a man of God and a mix up in a politics. You can't be a man of God. How you are we green? Are you we blue? When is color What is color prophetess? Orange. Orange. You can't be a true man of God and you dress up in a green pan politics day. Are you dress up in an orange? Eh -eh. When you are serving the Almighty God and you are representative of the heavens, you are on no side. Hmm? When you are serving the Almighty God and you are a minister of religion, you are on no side. You are not on green, nor yellow, nor blue, nor, nor, nor orange. You are on either. You are on no side. If you go to the Prime Minister and ask him about my documents, I never vote yet. We don't even have a national ID. I don't even have a national ID. And I don't need a national ID either. Once I have my driver's license, my passport, my good. So when God give me a word to give to any government, me not care if you are PMP, me not care if you are GLP, I must be able to give it to you in a respectable manner. If you are in the government and God sent me to give you a word, I must give it to you in a respectable manner. Me see a pastor talk about, 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 about Prime Minister, this Prime Minister, that God give a word for the Prime Minister, and you are threatening this, you are threatening. And then God give a word, man. Because if God give a word to give the Prime Minister, you will give it to him in a respectable manner. A government you are talking about this. One. I don't care how, 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 how ungodly he or she want to be. I don't care how ungodly he or she want to be. We have to give it in a respectable manner. A government we are talking about this. Thing. So, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, amen, whoever, whoever his name is, I don't, I, 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 honestly speaking, honestly speaking, it is not a form of insult or disrespect. Honestly speaking, I really don't know their names. Amen. I really and truly don't know their names. Only person you might know is Andrew Holness. Um, the next one is Mark Colin and um, who else? What's me know? What's me know? Um, what, what, you have a next one named Adley Shah. You have a next one named Lisa Anna. And um, and um, we don't know. We don't know nobody else. We don't know nobody else. No. We don't know nobody else name. Hmm? And Portia. I'm talking about people who are in our government now. 
Yeah, so those people that know me know. Portia, Angie Wallace, and how me know Angie Wallace now because I'm the Prime Minister now. Mark, um, what am I name? Uh, 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 not Mark, not Mark Golden, Bruce, Bruce Golden. Yeah, so me no know, me, me no know, because me no, me no, me no, me no mix with politics. Amen? God give me a word, I deliver the word. Amen? So whoever is the, is the minister or the representative of the, of the security in Jamaica, my God have mercy. Mm, mm. Uh, the force need to be delivered. The force need to be delivered. That's all I can say. Also, Mr. Andrew, um, Most Honorable Andrew Holness, while I speak on that, the Lord said there's something that is about to, there's something physical that's about to invade the shores of Jamaica. So you need to pay close attention to the borders of Jamaica. Amen? You need to pay close attention to the borders, the ports of Jamaica. You need to pay close attention to it. Amen? Um, Flatbridge. The Lord has given me instruction months ago to go and have a deliverance service right at Flatbridge. But he did not tell me when as yet. Hmm? He did not tell me when as yet. But he said to me, I am send, I'm going to send you to Flatbridge to have a deliverance service. No, I can tell the people of God. I mean, when I mean deliverance service, I mean, I mean a crowd of Flatbridge. I mean me and whoever I'm taking there. Amen. All them spirit with them. Subdue them. Yeah? Demolish those spirits. Amen. Destroy those spirits. Amen. And we can tell us the spirit they are flat rich. Because why? Most recently, I was driving a flat bridge and I'm driving a right hand car. Amen. And the rain was jizzling. The windows was up. AC on. And I felt a water drop on this shoulder, the left shoulder. And I looked through the mirror here, through the glass there, and me look and my wife see me look and she said, Is what? I said, No, man, no, no, no. And I felt the spirit in between me and my wife. I look in, and then I stop. I pull aside, I find a safe part, and I stop. And I start to speak in tongues. I start to speak in tongues. Because a spirit had came inside the car. Amen. And when I start to speak in tongues, I drove off now because the spirit gone. I'm drive off now. While approaching Flatbridge, you know there's a stoplight there. There was a driver that overtake me went in front of me trying to be the light the light change him a cross over now because by him coming in front of me now you know he slowed me back down amen light change he going to the bridge amen and then one time now another car was coming over the two of them in the middle of the bridge amen two of them now is in the middle of the bridge and he had us to reverse back down Amen. And my wife said to me, Honey, that man should have been you. I said, Yes. Because it was me reversing our flat bridge. Me know me a crash. Me know me a go over. Hmm? Sometimes you find these drivers, they might drive normal before they reach flat bridge. Normal, normal. And all of a sudden, boom! I don't pick going at them. They are drive normal all along, you know. A cruise, I take them time. Taxi drivers, I take them time. And thing, and the bus driver, truck driver, I take them time about you. And the moment they reach after that section there, 
I don't pick up in them. Hello? I don't pick up in them for kill of themselves. Because there's a, there's a season, there's a time when there's so just one more spirit. There is a time when there's so just one, one spirit. There is a time when there's so just one spirit. Because the way they might do that, with some of them people who say they might go to church, when they might do that. Hmm? Rituals been done there. And all kind of things. Me not afraid of dopey. Me not afraid of demons. Hmm? Me not afraid of demons. And me not afraid of dopey. No matter how powerful you can be, my God powerful than you. Hmm? And there was another time. I was traveling from Montego Bay at that time. I was in a coaster. The coaster is on the pictures on my on my on my other Facebook page. I'm gonna share it with you guys here. Amen. In the coaster and thing and driving when the coaster man reached the stoplight there to come across the bridge, I saw somebody stand up under the light. And Mrs. 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 But how did him get bus right just so? I'm look around, look back again, just a couple of seconds, look around again. I mean, I see nobody. He said, no man. And then all of a sudden, bus driver pick up speed. Me hear bloom. Him lick. Me don't know why him lick. But me hear everybody say, look there, look there, look there, look there. The man, the, the man is gone over there, so. Lick somebody. Lick half them head, half of them body. And then while he was slowing down, some man was coming at him now because you just killed me. Me don't know winky, but you killed somebody. And they drive on the bus, drive on the bus. Hmm? Drive on the bus. And when they pull beside him somewhere, um, close to the Spanish area, I never mean, I mean, I mean, know the many places. If most of the people have to exit through the back of the bus and I exit myself. And the man turned the bus driver, managed to escape and turn in a one, um, one plaza. Before, I want to play the name Brandswick. I want to say the name Brandswick now. Yeah, you know, and plans are run by brands excited. And then pull him out of the car, wherever they go with it. Amen. And I say, let me take a picture of the bus. I took a picture of the bus, the damage of the bus. And I upload it on my Facebook page. When I upload it on my Facebook page, a church sister said to me, say, well, not a church sister, someone who women know. Me not met her, I never met her before, but she know. She talked to me on Facebook. She said, Prophet, man of God, did you look at the, did you, the picture that you sent properly? I said, no, what's wrong? She said, go, go look at this doing screen and zoom it up and see. I said, talk to me about what's wrong, what you see? She said, go look at it yourself and you tell me what you see. Fear like God, I zoom it up. I look at the picture, zoom it up, and when I look at, the, look at the windscreen, I saw a face in the windscreen. And you can see the eyes, you can see, say, a drone, this is a demon, a drone. You can literally see it. Amen. No lie I'm telling you. No joke I'm telling you. I'm going to find the picture for you to see it. There is so much demons in that river. And with that, and with Kevin Smith thing, a lot more demons have already been established. Amen. So me going down to Montego Bay now, that was sent by God to mash up every altar, Mm? To destroy every altar, every demonic altar. Mm? To scatter, to mash up, to destroy, to burn. Everything. Amen. That does not represent God. The spirit realized that they could not manage me. I'm calling me yard, I sleep good. Hello, a night time. Some, before that, a night time, I fear fight de demons in my yard, man. My wife, I fear fight demons in my house, man. I fear fight, you run them out, man. And since we're going down there to do that, not one demon coming out of your house. Hello? Not one demon coming out of your house. So they realize, you know, they cannot attack us spiritually. So therefore, they are trying to attack us physically by using that demon's pastor. 
that I rebuked and told to repent. Amen. So they are trying to attack us physically now. Trying to oppress us from doing the work of God. But no retreat. No surrender. Amen. No retreat. No surrender. As the, uh, as the Maya said, I am doing a good work. I may not come down. Mm -hmm. I am doing a good work. I may not come down. Hello. Me not go figure resurrect Kevin because I'm not God. Huh? And the hawk gone from gone from from uh, from from, um, from nowadays. No hawk now come back again. Hello. No hawk now come back again. Hello. So we don't have mind to go be if we mash up anything when I represent God. Anything once you know look like God we are mash up. Hello. We are mash up. How do you look like God? We mash up. The Lord tell me, because I tell one of the members them to me, tell them to hey, you see that chair, I forgot about that. Hello? Me no play with the command to God. Me tell one of the member them to say, me, me say the same time when, when, um, when I, I think it was the Sunday when we, when we went on the honey. Me tell him, say, God say all that chair, you have to burn up. That chair when he sit down pan with the two with, with the two lion head at the crown over him head and the table that fit burn up. Me tell him say that I go burn up and me. I go burn up that car that no represent God. You think say you think say you think say me come for play show? Eh? Anything will look like God. Now it smell like God, man. Now it smell like righteousness. We have a power that. Hello. After we don't pray for the young man, the young man get deliverance and we want the young man here, yeah, woke up now. The young man said, Boy, well, prophet, it's true now. Yes, man. Yes, man, it's true. Mm. So even the even the chair where you see them put up on the news with the with the big old sitting at the front of the two hand them and the local crown over the head and the local table and anything they do with the with the local um thing car for craft or whatever you want, call the word. With the pandemic, you have to destroy it. Hello? We're going to destroy it. Hmm? So we are clear the building spiritually. The government clear the building physically. Hello? The government cleared the building physically. Physically, wash out the building physically, wash out the blood, wash out the stain, wash out the magic. They, they did a good work. Uh, how were the uh, um, organization name again? The NH, NH what? The Solid Waste. Amen? They did, a, they, did, they, did, they, did, they did a great job. I must compliment them. They did a great job. The Solid, um, the, sorry, the, the solid Waste people in Jamaica. Me don't know how no to make it, but, but, but I, when, when my wife wanted to be the wife of a run. Amen. So, they did a good work. The fire service, they, they did a good work down there. Um, some, some Ministry of Health people came down there. They did a good work. Sanitization people, they did a good work. And they work in less than what? In less than, in less than two days. They clean the building, sanitize the building in less than two days. So we have to give them the props for that. And they are doing so many good works all across Jamaica. Amen. But they are not being respected. Hmm? They are not being respected. Yes, so the, so the, so the chair with the, with the carving, with the big old lion sing thing, and thing and the local crown over the head of it and that kind of thing. We're on a mission, we are all that are destroyed. And anybody prevent us from destroying that? You are you let me tell you something now. Let me talk this now. Anybody that prevent us from destroying those furnitures that does not represent God. Amen. 
anybody that prevent us or prevent me that got the instruction from God to destroy that particular chair and that table with that with that calf thing drop on it you are preventing the work of God we cannot give the devil no cheer to sit on pan we cannot give the devil no no dicks to sit around we have to destroy those items and if you are destroyed by your own if you destroy that, hello, Lord Jesus Christ. If anyone who no take it up on your head and talk, but you cannot go, go destroy it because I say so. You no have in a problem with those demons. You no have in a problem with those demons because God did not give you the mandate to do it. Only the one that is sent by God can do that. So the chair that is sit on with the calf thing and the decks that is sit around with that calf thing in front of the decks, the Lord said we have to burn it. Not even solid waste must take with that. Not even solid waste to take it away. It has to be burnt right on the compound and the Lord sent me to burn it hello demons is not something to play with huh Yes, the man have credential. Me don't believe say that a, 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 a man of God should be called any form of El Excellency or El Excellency, whatever you call it. Or Her Excellency, or where, where, where I want to pronounce the word. I do not, and I will not take back my words. I do not believe that any man or woman of God should go to any man or any theology school or any other school to go gain such a word is excellency or excellency whatever you want to pronounce the word behind your name it means that you are trying to measure up with God you don't need all those titles behind your name to cast out demons you don't need all those titles behind a matter of fact you don't need a title behind your name to cast out demons all you want is the Holy Ghost inside of you and the authority of God Hello. So I do not. Amen. So I do not. So I do not believe that any man of God or any woman of God should gain such a name behind the name of Ill Excellency or Excellency. The moment you have that man in the name, if you dash you that, me advise you with the authority and the permission of God. Dash you the title the back of your name. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. So because him get the name there back of him name with and him having documents back of it for sure. And his strong demons come take him over. Eh? Because him carry the name, the ill excellent. If, if, if I'm pronouncing the word wrong, me now me never want to forgive me because I never want to learn to pronounce it good. The moment and then the devil says, You get the name, the ill excellency. Remember, I tell him, and him himself will come for your body. Because guess what? He will classify himself as excellency because I am a God. The moment you carry that name back in your name, it means that people you want to worship you have to call you Ill Excellency. The only man me I call Ill Excellency and Jesus Christ up there, sir. You don't have like me. God send me for you. God send me for you and me not turn back. God send me for you and me not turn back. 
Là, tu sais, nous vivons. Hein? One time, people used to fight over being a pastor. And they want me pastor again. But they want me bishop. And now, bishop now go away, nothing now. Everybody want me prophets. Prophet now go away, nothing now. Everybody want me apostle. Apostle now go away, nothing now. Everybody want me excellency. Somebody don't like me. Somebody don't like me. Somebody don't like me, but I know Jesus loved me. I'll make up that one day. Hello. Only hear me as I to turn this hand this morning. So if you are carrying that name back in your name, the Lord is saying to tell you to get rid of it. Get rid of that. Excellency or ill excellency, whatever you want to call it, get rid of it and humble yourself. If God calls you to be a pastor, stay as a pastor. If God chose you to call you to be a prophet, stay as a prophet. If God calls you to be an apostle, stay as an apostle. Don't call yourself no, no chief apostle and chief bishop and archbishop and arch this and excellent excellency. This. Relax yourself. Relax, you don't need all those things back in your name to preach the word of God. John the Baptist never have nothing back in your name. But he might preach the word of God. Once God certify you and approve you, that is all you need. Once God certify you and approve you, that is all you need. Hmm? So God sent me at the church to mash up anything when I represent him. And that is what we are doing. Clean up the church. The government sent his workers and his dedicated workers. Amen. God sent his dedicated workers then from solid waste and ministry of health and all different agents come together. Amen. And I am also personally inviting them to pray for them because them God and enemy can't clean it up. They have to be pray for all those personnel that went and cleaned the building, you did a good job. But I want to also pray for Uno. Hello. Because Uno, did, Uno went in the enemy camp and do the job. So the enemy no like Uno for that either. So therefore, they have done their job physically and God has sent us to do his job spiritually. Make we do it now. When I fight me for do God's work, and I better say, I fight the good man. I better say, I don't want to do that. Eh? We don't see what we want to see. We don't see what we want to do with the people. And only people out there, only if you see, only not see. Only if you see a man, a grab a woman, person, and say nothing. But when somebody comes to do something good and do the work of God, we we'll start to bash them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk about cult. I hear somebody say, where the gathering there? If you want to do the gathering there, go up and, and the video there on my post down, 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 down below. All of the things that I'm going to say, I don't worry about a gathering. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something, but I'm not going to ask you. I leave it to God. Hmm? And the man the, the, the man that talk, talk about the man will, will, will lick my wife. You know? Imagine. Imagine. You have a picnic. And somebody come push your picnic and lick your picnic. You're not going to defend your picnic. Hmm? Be honest. You're not going to defend your picnic. Hmm? You have your wife. And somebody come and uh, physically abuse your wife and uh, touch your wife, breast in her stomach and thing. You're not going to defend that. Me quite sure you're defending Whether you have the Holy Ghost or not. You're not going to defend it. And somebody come and put them on by you. You're not going to defend that. You're not going to defend it, man. Yeah? But guess what? I have not even lift my hands. Hmm? When we see the man I touch up my wife and abuse my wife right in front of me, the dread boy. The man abuse my wife right in front of me, Rasta. 
Yeah, man, I'm serious. I'm going to chat to you real. Eh? So if you're a Rasta, I talk to you as a Rasta. I'm not a Rasta, but I talk to you as a Rasta. Yeah? I mean, I'm quite, you know, say real most of us are a Rasta person that I watch us. Hmm? The man has physically abused my wife. Hmm? Lift me up off of my foot and throw me over his shoulder. And I bring me out of the road for you dash me down on the ground. And I don't lick him back. I never thump him in my mouth. Hmm? Because my hand long, you know? My hand long. And I never thump him in my mouth. Hmm? He may assault, he members him also come and assault my wife, assault me physically, and assault the woman that come with me. And none of them do nothing. Nobody knows about that. Police come. Eh? Police come. Police never take no statement. Hmm? Some of them police and the police force make, make, make the police look bad. Some of them police here, you know, the police force in Jamaica make some of the good police them look bad. Because you have good police out there, but some of the bad police are going to show up in the face more. And I give the force bad name. Hmm? That if a statement take, if, if you there find and somebody come and assault you and you show it on the video as a proof. The police are supposed to take legal action. The police never take a statement. Hmm? The police never take a statement. You, you are touch up my wife's breast. Huh? And I push my wife in her stomach, boy. Right in front of me. Eh? Right in front of me. There was some parts of them lick off your face right in front of you. Yeah? If it was some pastors, in the matter of the Holy Ghost, send them with message to give you. You touch them wife, they might mash up your face. I don't think so, I can't fight. I can't fight. But guess what? God just humble me. Hmm? Don't think so, I can't defend myself. But guess what? God humble me. Yeah? But nobody talking about that. Nobody. That's how hypocritical it is. The man I touch up my wife's breast. And I push my wife in her stomach and I abuse her right in front of me. But some of those nasty face ugly people nasty no mother. Not true. You come back and talk about gathering. This and that, this and that. We're not, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. Enough. We're not talking about that now. See that? Not one of can talk about that. Hmm? Hmm? Not one of them can talk about that. Not one of them can even mention about that. The video is there. The man have camera upon him church. Tell him to pull down the camera and share everything that happened. The man have a surveillance camera right upon the outside of the church with view everything. Tell him, contact him to pull it down, download it and upload it and, and put it on Facebook. He's not going to do it. Because why? The camera will show the truth. Hmm? But guess what he's doing? In video when everything's done. In video when everything's done. Hmm? In video when everything's done. And a narrate. What do you call the word? He become a narrator. And I, and I fabricate the whole thing. But you see, I know nobody can come about that. Hmm? Even if I come to your church and I tell you to repent, if you are a man of God, eh? matter of fact, ask you the question. If you claim to say I'm a false prophet, hmm? you hear somebody say, give by the people in the ring. That's all you can talk about. Yeah, you hey, hey, man, come off my page. Hey, man, come off my page. What's your name? Julia Twint. Hey, come off my page. All I want me to just say a while ago. Eh? 
All of me just see a while ago. All of them about a gathering. All of them about a Hey, man, come off my page. Come off my page. I'm a 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 page. All of them about a gathering. Not true. All of them about a gathering. Not true. Eh? Something they gotta reveal more. I have a ten more boys you want. Make me like it a stomach and I get mad. You hear me tell you? Me not make joke, man. Come on for my pay page, man. Come on for it and go on the other man. Hmm? Me sure know that many of the parts of the audience are gonna be what it was feeling. When the Holy Ghost feel like the Holy Ghost feel the more, somebody come and touch the white, we're not going to put the Holy Ghost one side and fight back. But I did not. But there is a, there is a surveillance camera on his church telling him to pull down the video and show it. Tell him to pull down the video and show it what happened. Hmm? I stood outside the church door for two hours. Matter of fact, never come home for two hours, never say a word. And I am calling my church sister for coming to the church. And my church sister never go. She never go. She turned up and I me said to her, say, me, she looked and so. And said, Prophet, what do you do? I said, go on, man. Go on. May I cover your one. Let me hear you, my sister. Because my sister he might try to use you now because he already get the memo. He already got the memo. Amen. He already got the memo. So he used her to get you to me. So when no number, let me tell you something now. If a pastor stand up so and I preach, you must expect the pastor to have armor bearers around him. You a pastor there, so I preach. The pastors are gonna have armor bearers around him. Whether them fake or real. The Prime Minister gone away, he have him armor bearers around him, he have him bodyguard around him. So therefore, you know, I carry my trust sister come with me and my wife and you can my trust sister. You expect me, you know, me should even make sure come to you. Yeah, but guess what, me make sure go. And then I know, following behind her and stood behind her and allow you to talk your foolishness. Hmm? Because I know, send her she want to talk to you. And me, I want to get to. Because while you were talking to she, you were dissing me at the same time. I talk about what leadership you're under. What leadership you're under. Your leadership is fake. Your leadership is the demons. And that the man I say, what me, you know? Why are you talking to her, you know? Because she make it clear, say, I am her prophet, you know? Now, look at this, now. Tell me if this is real. If you say the prophet where she under is fake, and you know, say, I'm me and that person there, why would you give me a mic to speak? Why would you tell me to speak? Hmm? Why would you tell me to speak? You don't carry the story? Why do you tell me to speak? If you say the woman prophet is a false prophet and I be a dope follower and all of this I this the woman of the church and she don't sit down, and me sit up behind her, and don't sit down, and she make it clear, say, I'm a prophet. Why would you give me the mic to speak? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And when he, when he, when he said to me now, he said to me now, um, he said to me, I, I heard that you have a message to uh, um, for me. I let the man say to me now. And I said to him, yes, the Lord sent me, gave me a message for, uh, um, for, um, for you. But I prefer to give you the message after service on a one-on-one. -on -one. The man said, no, go ahead and give it here. He said, sir, I'm not the kind of person to really speak publicly like this. I would rather to give it to you and I want to one since I am in front of you now. But if it's okay for you to from, from if it's okay with you for me to give it here, 
I will give it. And he says, sure, go ahead. And the man literally gets a different mic for me. Get, a, get another wireless mic for me to speak. And when I begin to speak, I said to him, Sir, the Lord said that majority of the people inside you do not know how to identify the Holy Ghost and they are worshipping you and not God and you need to repent because if you don't repent, your church is going to split. Me never tell him, saying church splitting up. I said to him, if you don't repent, the church is going to to split and one time one time he say everybody lift up on hand in the church and I stand up so and they start shouting strange fire strange fire strange fire in the house here liar everybody shout fire everybody just start going the antics now and me stand up so and me the Lord say go outside Dust your foot out the door and go outside. People of God, I hold my secretary, my missionary, by her shoulder so. And me turn her around. And I walked out the door. He never tell me to leave. I walk out the door and dust my foot at the door and the carpet. He never told me nor my missionary to leave. None of us. He told to leave. Mm -hmm. He never told us to leave. And I went outside and I lift my hand. I said, God, I deliver your word. I was standing right at my car and I said, Lord, I deliver your word. And one time, and the temple said, no. And I lift up my hand and I pray to God, you know. You know the church, you know. I want boy, I miss come out the door. Tell me, get out, get to the church, get to the church. And I touch me. I said, no, 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 no. I said, no, 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 no. Don't you dare go to the church, you know, no, no. I said, stop going. I always see one of the next young boy come out, one next man come out. And I drive away. Him still had fight of the man just to come assault me. That time of video it never start yet. And then two twos, everybody in the church run out now. And the pastors run out now. And they start assaulted us. Physically assaulted us. And then one time he said to my wife, say, video, video, turn on the camera. And the Lord started to talk to me one time. And the Lord said, tell him to repent. In two months, I said, I, 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 they will be destroyed. And we say, repent, repent. Turn on the camera, baby. Turn on the camera. Let them, let, let, let show them what they are doing. Have it as witness. And then one time, when the camera start, you see them start bustle. I go inside. I go inside. Because the camera started to turn on. Hmm? There was a woman next door was, was, was also videoing. And then passed him and I tell the woman, say, please, 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 don't video, please, don't, don't, don't video, please, please. And the woman say, you can't come tell me if you video. It's my phone. Hmm? And then them go to the church and they start to sing. What? Redemption. And them sing. Some song them are singing at the church and them are clapping and go on and sing. And then two twos, zoop. The man come out again. Pass the man and lead the whole crowd now. Come out again. Lift up me off of my foot. And I throw me up on the ground. Go up my phone out of me and my iPhone out of my hand and mash up and dash in the water. And I assault my wife. I've touched my wife in her chest and her stomach. I push her and the, and the woman. Do you hear me say? Mm -hmm. Nobody said nothing about that. But God is coming. Whether you're ready or not. Mm -hmm. Whether you're ready or not. God is coming. Mm hmm. No man on earth would stand up whether you have the Holy Ghost or not and make somebody assault, physically assault, 
in my wife. Police come, and then we call the police, you know. And them call the police. Then call the police and everything done. Mm -hmm. Police don't even take a statement. Hmm? I own a police, make other good police get bad name. Because I'm not doing the job. The things that you can do are fine, and police come and you say you assault somebody, physically assault them, and then see the video them, themselves, and then they do something about it. Hmm? I don't know police to get fireman and come out of the force because we don't get people, we don't get other good, 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 good police, bad name. Mm. Yeah. So therefore, I him contact the news, the whatever, whatever media. And I contact them, you know. I him contact the media. And I try to damage my character. Defamation of character. And like me, I don't do that. You know me come here bash You know me, me could have, when they, when they glean on the other people, they call me to interview me. I could have go up on it. I could have go up on it. When the media contact me, I could have go up on it. Yeah. I could have go up on it and him contact them and them tell them all kind of story. And saying because of COVID, only only the woman is allowed in the church. I never know that COVID is only I'm a, I'm a only um, um, a woman like a woman like, like a man alone can get COVID. I never know that. So because of COVID, only the woman can enter the church. Take God for Papi short. But I'm not busy for no believer or not. I don't pretty up nothing, I don't make up nothing, I target as it is. The liest person you can find on the earth are Christians. And some pastors that lie. The liest person you can find are some of the pastors in the church. And some of the Christians in the church. They lie, they lie, they lie. They tell you, they make it look like a true. Remember me tell you, when I come back, I guess so, when I come back, when I come and confess. But, because me have God in me, never forgive you no. But guess what? Never remind you no. I found you bash me, and diss me, and I try to damage my character. I call me all kind of nasty name that I'm not guilty of. But I saw the Lord Jesus Christ too. And if me a man, when I do me, if Jesus and Jesus are going to do you, so me a man, when I do me, God bless you. Until later again, peace out. Well, alright, we reached the end of the video right here, so I'm people. <laughs> I don't have to tell no lies still. I don't know if I'm alone, they find the part when the man around the woman and find page. Funny. When the man say, oh man, come off of my page, man. <laughs> and the man all get stomach. I like, hey, say, I find, I don't know, I just find that series you're entertaining still. Probably it's just me. But here we go on. In this very same video, the man say, hey, what? All of you people out there, we are create and I go share and this and make sure you know direct the people them to my page. So, I can't cut this video, so that send you know over. So here we go on, let me play my part. You know, go over Facebook, go follow the man. His name is Prophet Dr. Watson. I think I saw his name. Prophet Dr. Watson, somewhere like that, or Dr. Prophet Watson. When you, once you type in Prophet Watson, you will find him page. Over there on Facebook. See? And then him have the ministry, you can go follow the ministry too. See? Me play my part. But people, the man say, him now do no interview. So Allah, who know where you reach out to me and I say, unstoppable. Try to get um, Prophet Watson for do an interview. The man say, him now do no interview and point blank, period. Somebody even send me him number and say, unstoppable, you can call him. But... The man say, all I will call him, 
the calls are going to go unanswered. So, I don't know about even try to call the number. Anyway, people, I'm done with this. I don't send no more. Talk to me down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And here, what, if you don't know, subscribe yet. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're not following me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook at Unstoppable TV. And also, you can go check out the Instagram too. At Unstoppable TV. Watch out, man. No matter what. Don't let nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable. Me gone. Right now, you know we're unstoppable. Unstoppable.